Since the late 1980s, we thought we had a pretty good idea of what drugs do to our brains. And now researchers in Chicago have an even more detailed picture. Anthony Ponce takes a look in tonight's special report. Okay, last time. Even if you weren't born when this public service announcement was released back in 1987, you've probably seen it. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Now, researchers from Argonne National Lab and the University of Chicago have much more than a metaphor to show what happens to your brain when you take drugs. Thanks to supercomputers and some mice, they have a detailed picture generated on a microscopic level. One exposure to one of these drugs of abuse fundamentally changes physically how your brains uh, operate. Neuroscientist Bobby Casturi and his team spent nearly the last 10 years researching this question. To answer it, they had to find out which connections in the brain change when you take drugs. It's worse than a needle in a haystack problem. It's more of like a haystack in a haystack problem because <laughs> they all the connections uh, kind of look the same. Not to mention, Casturi says a human brain has probably 100 billion cells or neurons, and each one makes about 10,000 connections on average. I was thinking <laughs> it would take more uh, uh, exposures of the animal to, to, to find these changes. After exposing mice to cocaine just one or two times, Casturi says his team saw dramatic anatomical changes changes in the dopamine neurons in some of the mice brains. These neurons play a part in everything from voluntary movement to behavior. Parts of them were branching, which means they were allegedly making new connections, and parts of them were bulbs, which means they were allegedly removing existing uh, uh, connections. But the basic idea is that that process of removing and adding actually creates a circuit in your brain that is responsive, more responsive to the effects of that drug abuse. Given his own family's history with addiction and mental illness, this research was not only scientific, but also personal for Casturi, which is why he hopes his team's findings will lead the way to finding new ways to treat drug addiction. For a long time, uh, drugs of abuse and addiction uh, were kind of associated with a, a weak will, a, a, a weak character. I think this kind of idea that there are physical changes in their brain, their actual neurons are changing, I'm hoping will give us a more kind of rational uh, uh, and empathetic view uh, for how society deals uh, 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 with uh, addiction and drugs abuse. Casturi also adds, once you change how a brain physically operates, it's very hard to get back to that original state. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago.